leads into it. Basically, hey, I got a tonto right back here. Oh, okay, cool. All right, I've been trying to figure out how. I've been trying to figure out how to stop doing the 17, and you have to have a different approach to doing stuff. And uh, the first stuff I uh, was thinking about is like, hey, let's learn how to use the knife. So here, let me. All right, so every, almost every martial art I see, the first thing that they that they do is somebody comes in and they grab when somebody's stabbing at them. But we came to this realization that no matter what you do, you can just cut the guy. I mean, hold on both hands. Uh, uh, there. All right. So that's the first drill. Is is when you get when you get held, cut the guy. Cut him. And. Uh, and it, it evolves dramatically from there. So here, I'll take you to the next step. All right, so the next step is after you play with get and grab, what you do is, in Aikido, I feel, we don't want to mess with the hands and stuff so much, we want to go right to the center. So here, the comes in, look, he's got his strong, I cut here, and I go right to his center. I can be nice and gentle about it. And then step three is you alter the timing. Don't let him come in and grab you there. What you do is you come in and cut, cut, mm -hmm. and you have Aikido forming now. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's with this kind of hand blade idea of Aikido, rather than cut, 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 mm -hmm. and we're forming technique as opposed to having everything going, grab my hand and having this really static sort of revolving center coming in and cut, cut, right. cut idea. So you want to like that? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Fire, air, air, fire, lightning. Lightning. Same dogs. Dogs. What's coming up with dogs? Because living together, it's chaos. But uh, get a little body motion and alter the timing in, and all of a sudden you're doing beautiful classic Aikido. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. So if you want to try it, sweet. Out. Now, what were you thinking about with the tempo? Uh, just being the camera up for grass for me. Up for okay. Well, let's start with Eric's stuff. That reminds me a lot of the, the Roku kata business with the with the tanto as well, since you're starting with the offensive side of it, and it's nice. Well, it's, it's I think it's programming what like because so much of what Aikido people do is they grab hold. Mm -hmm. Well, if the, your your uke's automatic response is to cut that, all of a sudden it it leads into a whole different program of right on, yeah. right on. So you're always holding it like this, or you're holding it. You can hold you can hold a knife any way. Probably that's the only way I found it's no good. <laughs> uh, a lot of guys like to do this, uh, yeah. so you end up having a when, when any attack comes in, mm -hmm. cuts like that begin to form, and you can start doing hooks. Sure. Uh, some guys I see do with the blade this way, so they'll come in here. Well, you don't want to react because you don't want to, you know, and they'll start getting cuts in this way. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is kind of a bathing motion, you know, boom, sure. Sure. to start getting your cuts. Uh, uh, this way seems to be a good general sort of starter way because mostly it's a more, more extension of your cuts and you can even do, you know, your, you come in, bono, shobanate. You can do your agamiate, you can do your yakugamiate. I mean, I base all Aikido weapons work on the 17 because I can't count any higher than that. So. <laughs> Sweet. So if you like. Let's experiment with that for a few minutes to see what it's like. Find out for yourself. Get your, get your partner with a knife. And uh, yeah.